Hello YouTube, welcome back to my 120 gallon mixed reef tank. Today I want to talk about a common but not well known coral. This coral goes by many names, the most popular is probably blue clove polyps. Blue clove polyps are a member of the Xenid family, like Xenia, Sespitularia and Anthelia. I've heard it called rock anthelia here in Korea. For what I can ascertain from the reading that I've done, this coral is either Sansibia or Sarcothelia edmonsoni. I am more inclined to say that it is in Sansibia as Sarcothelia edmonsoni is endemic to Hawaii and most of the corals collected in Korea come from either Indonesia or Australia. As you can see from this and previous videos that this coral has spread aggressively throughout my tank. I indirectly added this coral to my system when I added a Montipora digitata frag. After a couple of weeks I noticed a couple of tiny blue polyps on the frag base and I thought, sweet, a free coral. If I had known then what would become of these tiny two polyps, I probably would have tossed the entire Montipora digitata colony just to be on the safe side. But alas, I did not and now I'm left to deal with it and that is what inspired me to make a video about it. Sensibia doesn't grow or spread like other common zinnias, but it spreads out on a mat, not unlike green star polyps or zoanthids. But unlike GSP or zoas, Sensibia can fragment, move into the water column and settle in another place and start growing a new colony. It is definitely one of the fastest growing species I have encountered. Because of its hair algae like properties of infestation, many people hate it and from what I've read on some threads, people have torn down complete systems because they're unable to eradicate this coral. I've also read that people had success using fluke medicine to eradicate it but other soft corals had to be removed prior to treatment. I've grown to like this coral as it does not affect most other corals. It will quickly take over any free rock space but from what I've seen most corals can clear a path for themselves and beat back the blue mats one millimeter at a time. Here you can see where three corals meet under the branch of a bird's nest to do battle. On the left is Sensibia, behind is an encrusting cold coral and to the right is the champ green star polyps. The GSP is the stronger of the three and won the battle but I had to peel it back some before it reached the bird's nest as its sting does affect the bird's nest whereas the Sensibia does not. Here are some other shots of Sensibia interacting with other corals. Here you can see a frog spawn and clearly see the DMZ line created by the hard stinging Euphelia. Here we can see some mushrooms and on top the Discosoma mushroom that doesn't seem to care about Sensibia in contrast to the green Rodactus mushroom that doesn't take any nonsense. Next we have the mind blowing pallies. These pallies keep a tight formation and push back the Sensibia. Here's another shot of the Sensibia getting squeezed between the mind blowing pallies and the frog spawn coral. Here we have some other zoas and this is the only real problem I have with Sensibia. It can sometimes get in between zoas and start growing through the zoa colony, extending up and outcompeting the zoas. I have no numerous zoa colonies in my tank and this is the only place where Sensibia can cause an issue. Time for some nice macro shots. Here you can see a close up of the Sensibia polyp and see that it's clearly in the subclass Octocorallia with its eight like finger appendages coming from the center of the polyp. If you look closely at the next shot you can see 
an encrusting LPS coral stinging the Sensibia, the top right hand corner, right there. These three tentacles make light work of Sensibia, and corals can easily clear a path and gain new territory. So what's my final opinion on this coral? Well this coral is an ideal filler coral and it will fill any bare rock and I mean any free space. If you want to put a different coral on a spot covered with Sensibia it shouldn't be a problem as most corals can clear its own path. Ideally Sensibia should be added late after you have your tank looking the way you want and you have most of your rock work on real estate covered in corals. Okay, that should do it for now, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Goodbye.